Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. Well, I am going to safely assume that my foreign headlights are in from Amazon. Yeah, they are. Let's get started on this video. So I'm out here on a pretty dark road. There's hardly any light out here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do a very fair comparison. I, I went ahead and replaced my uh, headlight housings. So I have brand new headlight housings, which is why these uh, stock halogen lights look so good. Uh, they actually really do look pretty bright and for being stock lights. So I'm gonna come out here to the same road once I replace the stock lights with the LED bulbs that I got uh, from Farron or Farin or however you pronounce that. I already got them over the mail, so I just wanted to come out here and do kind of like a quick drive as to what the halogen bulbs offer and to see if we get any noticeable upgrade. If you do end up liking the Farin LEDs, I will have an Amazon affiliate link down in the description so you can go ahead and order yourself a set. I got the low beams and the high beams, however, I don't currently have my truck wired up to uh, perform with the low beams and the high beams at the same time. I'm going to be making a separate video as to how to do that, but at the moment I cannot do a fair comparison for the high and low beams together. So for this video, it's just going to be the low beams by themselves compared to the foreign LED low beams. So let's go ahead and swap these lights out and see what they look like. Okay, so I've swapped out my uh, halogen bulbs to the Farron. I'm pulling up here to the uh, to the dirt road that I was on before. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a, a look at to as to what it uh, looks like on a road. You know, because we have lines on this road. This is an asphalt road. And now we're coming up to the bumpy road that we were in before. So I'm gonna line up exactly where I was before, which was right here, okay? Now, one thing right off the bat that I see a difference in is projection. This, this uh, setup or these LEDs have a lot further projection they uh, they go further out you know before I couldn't see too much further in front I couldn't see much further ahead and now I can and the flood pattern is pretty good uh, the color temperature uh, I can't remember off the top of my head but you see a very fine tint of blue uh, not too much. It looks white for the most part uh, But you do see I mean just a never so slight tint of blue uh, But almost nothing not enough to, to say that hey the, the lights are blue So I think I think they appear a little more blue on camera than what it is in person uh, But I am just using a phone camera and well, this is this is what I'm getting the lights are adjusted exactly the same way as they were with the halogen bulbs. Uh, these these uh, headlights do need to be adjusted properly, but I, in order to make it a fair uh, trial here for, for both headlights, I went ahead and didn't uh, adjust the, the headlamps. I left them exactly the same way to give them you know a, a fair a fair trial like I said so with proper adjustment I think these lights are outstanding I think they're very good so I'm gonna go ahead and, and start moving forward here the, um, the LEDs have a mini fan behind them uh, right by the uh, the heat sink and in some cases those LED fans are kind of loud uh, in our case here with these ferrons, they're they're very quiet. You can almost not tell that that they have even fans behind them uh, But yeah, I mean the the lights are, are great um, I don't have a way of calculating how much better they are, but if I had to put a number to it the the halogen bulbs were perhaps a, a 70% and these are a 100% so it does give you a, a quite a bit of increase, maybe 30% brighter if I had to venture a guess. 
So do I recommend the bulbs? Right now I do. Uh, feel free to comment down below if you wanna follow up with me and see exactly how these lights are doing. I drive the truck pretty often. So on the video description, if I ever do have a failure with these lights, um, I'm marking the date right now. This is uh, May 5th of 2024. So I wanna see exactly how long these headlights last. Um, if I do have any kind of failure or anything like that, I will type it in into the description. So things to look for in the description are gonna be the uh, affiliate link uh, for these headlights, the combo, uh, which is uh, low beams and high beams. And I'm also, of course, gonna be keeping you guys updated. So if you don't see anything on there of any kind of failure being made note of, these lights are still good. So the moment that I have a failure, I will update this video. I'm very good about keeping up with these things. So I, I like to, to have good information out there. So keep an eye out for that. And I mean, if you, if you want to, you can go ahead and ask me uh, on the comment section how these lights are doing. And I'll, I'll respond to you as soon as I can. But yeah, I mean, I recommend these lights for now. I mean, they're, they're great. And I can see a whole lot better than what I could with the halogen light bulbs. Just a quick pointer. They recommend that on a reflector housing, you face the uh, the LED chips in the three and the nine o'clock position. And if you compare the way it looks on a, on a stock bulb, the bulb normally sits like this with the uh, connector facing down. And if you look at it, you can see that they also follow that same orientation. I don't know if I can get a good view in here. Okay, you see that arm on the top? It's like a little arm on top and yes, you're not supposed to touch the bulbs on the glass, but I'm not gonna use these anymore. Uh, but you see that little arm on top right there? That basically would be like a blockage for the light. So what actually emits the light is that little spring, the little coil that's in there. Let me circle that right there. Okay, that is what emits the light, okay? And, it, and basically it's gonna be showing on the side. So on the three o'clock and the, and the nine o'clock position basically, right? Just as it would with the LED. So when you, when you set in your LED, you want it to be like that on your housing. So, you know, like, like so, like that, okay? Uh, another thing to note, if when you first turn on your headlights, don't put all this back together, uh, but assemble it and before adding your, your headlights back onto your, your vehicle, uh, leave your connectors exposed and just turn on your lights to make sure they do turn on. If they do not turn on, this, uh, this connector right here is reversible. So as you see, you got that little tang right here, little tab where this can lock into. So it can lock into itself on the top or the bottom. Simply disconnect and rotate the plug and connect it again and your your LED should work at that point so just a little just two little extra pointers there just in case you're having any trouble and for those of you that appreciate a good unboxing video I'll add this to the end of this video which that's what I'm doing now uh, this is the way I got this box it came in a little banged up but I mean we'll see we'll see what the lights look like once we get in there and if the beginning of this video was successful then we already know what we're what we're gonna see right now when i open this okay so the box took a, a beating on this side this is nice okay so let's inspect this light here and i mean it looks pretty good doesn't look bad doesn't look banged up nope we're good so for my truck, it's a 97 Chevy. So it takes the 9006 for the low beams and the 9005 for the high beams. And this is what you get, it's a four pack. I don't remember off the top of my head how much I paid for this, but there is gonna be a link down in the description in case you guys are interested in this here kit. And I wish I would've started off with the flash, but here you are. That's what the lights look like. 
as far as for the for the light sizes and all that that's going to be listed here on this um, on this label these are my 9006 and these are my 9005s okay so low beams high beams i'm gonna go ahead and get them installed right now so that i can move forward with the rest of this video now if you did find value in this video please hit that like button because it lets youtube know that this is good content and they will continue to push my videos forward until next time everybody y'all be safe